Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Snapshot series where we are taking a look at the newest Minecraft Snapshots and taking a look at what they contain. In this video we are going to cover the 18W44A Snapshot. Stay tuned. The first thing that we are going to cover in this part of the video will be the new blocks that they have added. The first block that we are going to be taking a look at is the barrel. It can be found under the decoration blocks at the bottom down here together with some other stuff that we're going to be taking a look at in just a moment. Currently the barrel has a inventory of a chest, have the inventory of a chest and it can be filled and emptied by hoppers. So if we just take a hopper here, here we go. I don't actually think that you can open it your, on your own. So if we do that and if we just take a chest, if I can find one, there we go, and do that, and put in some items, let's say, polished standard side, why not? And let's start with removing that hopper. As you can see, it's go, it goes down into the barrel, we still cannot open it ourselves, but if we take a hopper there, you can see that it is now being put into the chest, which is pretty cool, it can also be filled with... Um, with droppers. So if we go ahead and take a dropper right here and maybe give it, yeah, let's do a button. Point the dropper, the face of the dropper in towards the barrel. We put a button in there, just like that. We put some, well, stuff in there. Um, yes, this is done. So if we do this, there should now be a dropper in it. If we do it again, let's do it twice. And it gets directly into that. If we take that below hover away, there's now a dropper inside of this barrel. Currently you cannot open it with your left mouse button. I don't know if that is intentional or if it's a bug, but let's do that and put that in there. As you can see, our droppers came. So this is a new um, storage device for Minecraft or storage block. One more thing I should say about the barrel is that it is currently only available in the creative inventory. You can't actually craft it yet. The next item we are going to be taking a look at is the bell, which currently has no, um, what's it called? No function or no ability. Whoa, dear, except for that loud noise. Currently, you can't do anything with it. If I try and apply a redstone signal to it, nothing happens yet. And if it's if the block it is attached to disappears, it drops out as an item. Oh man, that sound. <laughs> I gotta lower that, I think. Let's just lower that for the rest of this test. Sorry. But it sounds pretty much like an anvil, I think maybe... Maybe it's even louder. Let's compare. No, it's exactly the same, but currently it has no function. But that is also another item added in 18W44. And those are, again, only available in the creative inventory right here, as you just saw. The next two blocks that we're going to be taking a look at are the Smoker and the Blast Furnace, which currently, from my understanding, only works as a normal furnace right now. But as you can see, you can't open the UI of it, just like the barrel. And the way you use them is, again, with hoppers. Um, I believe, yes, droppers as well. So if I were to take the blast furnace for example, let's just test this. So I were to add, I don't know if it needs fuel actually. Again, let's test. Let me just get a chest here. I'm guessing it's gonna need fuel, but let's try get some iron ore and try and smelt that. Uh, I think I need to hover on top. Um, I think it needs fuel. Let's just give it some coal. Currently, there are not much about these. Literally a single sentence. Okay, so there we go. Now you can see it smells again. Um, not much describes this block as far as I can see or tell. I'm looking at the wiki layer right now and there's really nothing else about it. Also, I don't know if this will work. This one works actually. Let's try it. Let's get some coal let's get uh, okay the iron's gone you know what we'll we'll use sand that'll, that'll work if i can't mess up there we go add that 
Okay, so that works. And I think it just functions as a normal furnace as well currently. Let's just wait to see if some glass appears, which it should. There we go, yes. So currently these just function as normal furnaces without a GUI or inventory. It has an inventory, but currently you can't access it, which I think is the point of this, that you are supposed to use hoppers for them, but I'm not sure. Currently you can only use hoppers for them anyways. So that, that are those two blocks, the smoker and the blast furnace. Also, I just gotta say about all these blocks currently, their textures look amazing and I think they fit very well with the new texture update that they have applied to 1.14 as well. I just wanted to get that out there as well. The next five blocks I'm going to cover, yes, I am doing five in a row because they currently have no function. Let's just place them down. That is the cartography table. This is a fletching table. This is a ground grindstone, smithing table and stone cutter. And I believe the stone cutter have actually, let me just look at something real quick. I believe it was a part of Minecraft a very, very long time ago. Um, let me just see here. Stone cutter is only available by creative mode. That is way, way back, I think. No, this is now, sorry. Um, unobtainable in survival, survival mode currently. Um, And they only exist in survival world where one existed prior to Alpha 0 13 0. So they were introduced a long time ago and then I believe removed and then now apparently reintroduced, which is really interesting. Now, any of these do not have any functions whatsoever yet, but I am excited for this because all of them seem very interesting, especially the cartography. Well, not especially all of them. Grindstone, smithing table, stone cutter. Looks very interesting and I'm excited to see what other features they're gonna give these blocks. So I am waiting with excitement. The next and final block of today's video is the lectern, which again has no functionality. Um, it is only, again, only available in the creative mode and the same with all of these blocks, basically only available in creative mode currently. The same with this thing. Again, this one has no functionality and it says on the wiki, I'm not sure what it means, but some of you who are nerds about this stuff <laughs> might know what this means. It says, have an associated block entity placeholder holder. I'm not sure what this means. The bell has one of those as well, but I'm again, not sure what that means. Um, yeah, but it looks very interesting and I'm excited to see what it does. Let me just try something because no, oh, no. Okay. Let's just sign it. Uh, sign. No. Okay. Well, I was thinking maybe you could place books on there, but I guess that's in the future. Currently these blocks have no usage whatsoever. So those are all the blocks in 18 W 44 a snapshot for 1.14. Now here's something interesting and something that I am happy to finally see. The next thing we're going to talk about are cats. They have, oh, okay. Um, there we go. Cat spawn egg. They have read, uh, they have done some stuff. Um, so before you had the ocelot that you found in jungle biomes. From my understanding, the thing, the thing, the cat that you find in jungles now are stray cats, which can be tamed. And they then added several new cat skins. So I'm not sure if these are, these are strays. I'm just spawning the cat spawn egg. But um, if I take some fish, I don't think, actually, I don't think before you just had one ocelot and then when you tamed it, they had, um, they then got their skin. I don't think that's the case anymore. I think they now spawn with their skins randomized and this guy is a new color as you can see. Okay. And the white one was a new one as well. And I gotta say, I love animals and my heart just melt when I when I hear those sounds, but um, yes, if I just try and tame one, that's some interesting stuff. I wonder, do they like tropical fish? Mm. Let's get this one out of the water, shall we? Let's try, I believe it says nothing about them changing the way that they are tamed. 
but let's just try and get this guy maybe. Oh, okay, he's running. You know what? Let's try another one. I just want this guy out of the water. Okay, you know what? He he can swim if he wishes to do so. He seems pretty capable of swimming. Um, I think there's a brown gray one up here. You know what? I'll be back when I have a cat. <laughs> Stay tuned. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, I love that sound. There we go. We tamed a cat. All right, so let's just take this guy down to the beach so I have a little bit more area to um to show in. Oh, did it go down there? Okay. Let's just make it a quick bridge. There we go. Take it easy, take it easy. There we go. A little platform for you. Okay, back to the subject. Um, If we take this guy over here. Come on, get over here. There might be something that you've noticed, and that is this red... um red color. So, or the red color. <laughs> um, so if we take some dye, let's say I wanted my cat to be blue. Oh, wow. I'm not sure how that happened. But, okay, that was sad. Um, but now I can dye, just like I can dye um, the dogs, I can now dye the cats. If I take another dye, let's take brown, let's take white, let's take green, let's take some gray. As you can see, I can change the color of their color. <laughs> um, am I pronouncing that right? Yes, I am. Hopefully. <laughs> I just checked. Um, but yeah, I can change that color. And that is pretty much it. Um, also, tamed cats can give gifts to their owners in the morning, such as string or raw chicken. So I wonder, um, if I just set the time, set um, midnight, noon, nope, if I just set it to, I think this is morning, I'm not sure, but it says, it says that it, they can now give gifts to their owners such as string or raw chicken, which is pretty cool and cute as well. All right, so, so far we have covered the new blocks that they have added and the change they did to cats. You know, let me just get him to sit down. The next thing that we are going to talk about is some block changes. So let's look at those. The first one is the signs. If we just take a, you know what, let's take a blue sign. Let's place it over here and let's say binary was here. Yes, I know that's wrong. So as you can see, the text has changed again. But now, if I take a die, you know what? I want this text blue or orange or yellow, maybe green, maybe pink. Mm, let's see what fits best. Right click the sign and you can now change the color of the letters or the text using dies. That is really cool. So you can now make things um, much more customized, which I really, really like. Also, it says that it they changed the texture, which I actually, now that I'm looking at it, I actually do notice at the front, it is different than the back. It's both, it's more smooth in the front than it is in the back. Also, it seems like they added their um, individual like pillars or supports. I'm not sure if that was in the other snapshot that we tested um, but it looks pretty cool and especially that you can change the color of the text that is really awesome okay something i just discovered is that ocelots are still in the game so cats have now been separated from ocelots so you can still find ocelots and i'm not sure if you can actually tame the ocelots um, it seems like it because it came over to me so I think cats and ocelots are now separated. So if you see an ocelot, it's an ocelot you get. If you see cats, then it's a cat you get. So that is pretty cool as well. So that actually adds a new mob that kind of has always been there. But in a way, there's a new mob in the game. Let me just try and tame this guy. All right, he's coming. There we go. He's now... Okay, he's not tamed to the point where I can sit him down at all. But um, 
at least he doesn't run away anymore. And if I just spawn another ocelot in, I think his color changed as well. No, they didn't. But apparently it just... It seems to maybe follow me, I'm not sure. But um, there you go, ocelots and cats have now been separated. Actually, it says right here, sorry. <laughs> Um, Ocelots can no longer be tamed and they will trust the player if fed salmon or caught. So what you saw up there, I fed some salmon to the Ocelot and it now trusted me so it didn't run away while the other one was wild and it ran away. So there you go. Another pretty fun feature is that phantoms are now afraid of cats. So these guys, I don't think it's the same for Ocelots because they now separated and it says specifically cats. But phantoms are now afraid of cats, just like creepers are afraid of cats as well. If that hasn't changed, it doesn't say anything about that. So yeah, there you go, phantoms are afraid of cats. But that pretty much wraps up this video. There are 18 issues fixed as well that I'm not going to go into detail with. Um, but some from the 1.14 development versions and from the previous development version, um, they have done some fixes there but I just wanted to say that and um, yeah I hope you are excited for these updates because I sure am I'm excited to see what else they will add to these awesome blocks because it sure does look interesting with all these new blocks and I'm excited to see what features they will get but anyways I hope you enjoyed if you did remember to leave a like comment and share it with your friends and if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe and also remember to join my Discord server link down below. Follow me on Twitch as I am streaming on there as well. And that will be it for me. Hope you enjoyed and have a nice day. Also, if you've got any suggestions or things that I should do in a different way, maybe go into more detail, leave a comment down below. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.